Hey, good morning everybody, Jason here. So we've already made $3 today, kind of a big deal. No, I'm just joking. Um, we're just a minute before market opens, but I saw Saito, Saito had asked me why I would like Tesla to go up slowly instead of super quickly and make a whole bunch of gains in a short period of time. And I wanted to walk through that a little bit and hopefully this is going to make sense. I can also kind of draw it out and actually use the... Um, the computer and show exactly um, kind of step by step like why that makes sense for me so like what happens if it goes up to let's say way back up to 880 like overnight where we can't adjust anything basically every single put credit spread I have is all good right and I've made all that money but I'm not able to take advantage of the money on the way up so and what I mean by that, right? So we'll look at like a couple of these put credit spreads. So like the 600s, um, 620s, and all those, like right now, well, they actually still have a little bit of, they actually still have some value. But let's say it went up to 900 bucks. Um, I would have basically secured all of my collateral and my my premium might be able to close it out for something cheap and then i would have all the gains for all those but then right after that what do i do at that point you know my my options at that point let's say tesla ran up to 900 then what do i do um if you've been watching uh, my updates for a while when tesla started hitting you know 750 800 I kept saying like these are getting more more scary and more scary to open because it looked like it was I mean obviously it was overpriced a little bit and things are coming coming back down and that's what I was afraid of at that point I did keep opening them and that's kind of like what I paid for but my so my choices at that point if they all went up overnight and I didn't have time to adjust a time to um, like make it to next week where the collateral is collected and then I'm opening new ones because I'm making money if the stock goes up sideways or down a little bit. That gives me more time to do that. So if it's at 900, I can open up something risky if I want to collect a decent amount of collateral, but my or collect a decent amount of premium. Um, but if I'm opening it up so low to where it's safe at 900, I would be opening up, you know, $200 out of the money and I'm not going to collect very much at that point. I could collect higher, but then I'm kind of right back where I was with risking everything. If it happened to drop a hundred dollars in a, in a week, uh, again, you know, it just takes that, takes that overall market sentiment and, um, kind of what happened what happened could happen again and that's the reason so when it's sticking right around here and let's even just take a look what it's doing so like at 700 i can keep opening put credit spreads at 500 and some and collecting a hundred dollars and i feel those those are safe so those are super comfortable for me and then i can wait for those to expire or decay collect that premium and then just just rinse and repeat essentially so hopefully that makes sense um that's why i don't care for it to shoot up that much and then as far as like my actual shares are concerned that's not even that doesn't even matter to me so those shares are there and you know those shares are going to be there for years i'll probably transfer them to another brokerage and i'll just hold on to them I'm not planning on selling those guys at all. If I had just naked calls, yeah, I would want it to just skyrocket up, but that is not what I have in my account. So anyhow, this morning we are up um, 9, 10, 7, who knows when it actually settles out. Usually in the beginning of the day, we get some of that kind of crazy fluctuation. Um, the only thing we have expiring tomorrow are 820 calls, and those are covered by my shares. And as far as the put credit spreads, we don't have those expiring until next week. And the lowest one 
is 620. So this guy. So like for example, this still has 150, 160 dollars more to gain uh, each of these. But if if Tesla happened to be up at 900, they'd be all done. And then I would have to either move it up, which would not feel as safe, um, or or take on some sort of more risk. So, um, and then when time just decays, like even if it trades sideways, I collect all that $150, like that, that uh, is on my side. And then I can do the same thing again. Um, and let's see. Kind of curious just about a few things. AMD. We have a $95 call that I bought. Basically a leaps. So we bought that for $700 while things were down. Up $100. And, and let's see how we're doing on our Rolls Royce. Oh my gosh. They let us down. We lost 40 bucks. 60 bucks. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're still up 200 bucks on it. Maybe time to grab more shares. I'm kidding. And I think that is about it for anything interesting going on. Um, we'll wait to see if uh, today is a repeat of yesterday and we run up to $700 and come back down. But all that's pretty much good. As long as we're taking advantage of when it's down to open something up. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. And let's make a lot of money.